Hi everyone, we are Team 16 from EE599. Our final project is the real-time image caption generator based on Jetson Nano. Our goal is to build a real-time image caption generator that can find out the information in the image and generate the caption of it. And then it can convert the text to audio and feed back to the user. In that way, we can use this deep learning technology to help the plan to have more information about his environment. Our model is based on the idea of encoder-decoder architecture, aka sequential-to-sequential -sequential learning, which is shown below. The baseline model is a simple encoder-decoder network, referred from the show-and-tell paper. To represent the image, the encoder is a pre-trained VGG16 network without the last softmax layer to do the automatic feature engineering. We also add a dropout layer to prevent overfitting. For the generation of words, the decoder is a sequential LSTN and we also add a dropout layer to prevent overfitting. It must be noted that the caption is word-by-word -word generation, so the input consists of two dimensions, consists of an image vector and a partial caption. So, we cannot use the sequential API provided by the Keras library. For this reason, we use the functional API to create the merge model instead. The result of our model is shown below. You can see that the cache generated by the model is cryological and the model didn't catch anything from the image. I think it's because that our training set is too small, so it could not generate some relevant information of the image. Also, we want to look for other ways to make our model more complex. This is our first improvement on our baseline model. We use the groove embedding as our decoder embedding layer. It used the co-occurrence matrix to capture the connection in global corpus, and it can converge fast, which can shorten our training time. Besides, we use a smaller CNN. Considering the limited memory of our JSON Nano, we want to choose a smaller size of CNN so that it can save more memory for our device. This is our improved model. This is the result generated by our improved model. You can see that it is more accurate compared to the previous one, and it makes sense to some extent. Although, it can capture some of the content in the image. That feature is often not the important part of the image. So we want to find an effective way to capture the important information in the image and don't make our model too complex. This is our second improvement. Learn from the paper, show, attend and tell. We want to add the attention mechanism to our encoder network. The attention mechanism is able to selectively focus on useful parts of the input sentence and learn the alignment between them. It helps our model to copy effectively with long input sentence and thus improve the performances. Besides, we want to use the bin search. Actually, there are multiple approaches that can be used to generate a sentence given an image. The first one is greedy search, but it is often not a good choice as it may lead to the suboptimal result. So we want to use the bin search. It is an appropriate search strategy that tries to predict the second word based on the statistic information of the previous one and hence solve the problem in an efficient way compared to the greedy search. This is the result from our second improved model. You can see that our model does generate a relatively accurate caption of the image. Also, it does 
capture the important part of the image. So it proves that our improvement is effective. But the grammar structure of the sentence is quite illogical. So we want to make an improvement on our model in our future work. This is our hardware setup. The setup is quite simple. Use a ribbon cable to connect the Pi camera to the board. I use a DC voltage converter to, to provide a 5.2 volt power to the board. Because the regular phone chargers are not able to provide enough power to the board. For the software part, Jetson Nano supports GPU acceleration. For our project, we will use TensorFlow to API to make predictions. Here is short footage that shows how our machine works. The projector in video works as a speaker. Now I'm taking photos. Here is a small wall by a window next to a garden in a parking meter on a stone house. There are the results from our model that without a tension mechanism, and we also add the beam search to it. Because the data set we use is quite small, this model is a little bit overfitting. It recognizes the red sneaker as a man in a red shirt. Actually, during our test, it recognized every red thing as a red shirt. And also, the generation takes around 144 seconds. It is too low for our task. On the other hand, even the object it recognizes is wrong, but it still can generate completed sentences. The structure of the caption is reasonable. Those are the results from the model with the tension mechanism. And this time, we don't use beam search. Running beam search for every word is time consuming. We decided to remove it this time. Uh, the results are more reasonable. The first one is a photo that was taken in our kitchen. And the predicted caption is a refrigerator with black toaster oven next to an oven. And it takes around two seconds. The second one is a photo of our teammate, and the generation says a young man in a kitchen slice of mirror, and it also takes two seconds. In those captions, you can actually see why would this model make those predictions. But this model is still not quite good at classifying objects, and those captions are not complete sentences and uh, have strange structure. In the picture below, you can see the model think the heater on the wall is a mirror. A mirror and this heater do share some features, like the shapes and size. What we need to do next is to do more training with more data. In that way, we may get better performance.